We decoded the algorithm of cost code and applied price contingency assuming 5%. We also modified the unit to metric for concrete volume and separated quantity takes off for different con concrete class or FC prime based on each bridge element since the price for concrete class varies. The team conducted an initial assessment based on the given project timeline using realistic work structure breakdown with correct duration for each scope of work based on actual project experience. We assume conventional construction method in Philippine settings, which basically uses cast-in-place or CIP, only PCG, PSG, and bearings are prefabricated to assume worst-case scenario and project schedule. For the optimization of correct crew numbers, we will use a minimum of two crew during construction and maximum of three at specific period, which bring us to the project final end date of October 2022, about two weeks prior to project opening. This is also related to constructible components, which is part of our deliverables. For example, in case of column construction joint, ACI recommended a maximum of 3 meter spacing in pier columns and abutment walls to facilitate concrete workability and inspection. The pouring sequence in DEXLAB should also correctly specify to minimize the cracking and gold joints as what we have shown in our Synchro 4D animation using appearance profiles. In theory, Pouring should be in one go, but in some instances where it is not possible, then correct sequencing should be used. For plate steel girder insulation, we will divide the steel girder in three parts. The first part will be installed at gear 3, supported by false work. The second and third part will be joined and bolted accordingly using traditional mobile cranes. The group prepared in advance the method of statement and job hazard analysis for some of the bridge elements. We included those in our submissions. We have used DPWH Blue Book and ACI for this activity. We generated a render animation of the bridge project using Synchro 4D considering limited amount of time for the training. Upon slicing the Synchro Modeler, multiple bridge elements will exist in Synchro 4D, superimposing the original bridge elements. As a solution, we focused on using the master model tree in 3D objects tab in the assignment of resources. Based on our recommended project schedule in initial assessment using simple Excel, the correct linking of relationship of tasks should be specified accordingly. Link chain is not applicable to headers. All of my students are already working full-time and the others are taking their review classes for the board exam. So time management is actually a challenge.